Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I have a 10 by 10 cradle wood panel uh, that's been taped off. All right, so I'm doing a floating bloom. So I'm just gonna spread out my paint so it's not too thick because I don't want to have to spin off too much and hence stretch the, the um, bloom out. I'm not wanting it to go over the edges. Um, that's the plan. We will see what actually happens.
final piece and it is all dry. I love the beautiful cells in here. There is a lot of shimmer. You can see that sapphire twinkling away there in the center and out through the sides. Um, towards the edge of the petals, you've got the brulee. Um, and at the very top there is that afterglow. Um, it is a really beautiful piece. However, look at this. I had a million bubbles in my pillow paint. And it looks like my painting contracted chicken pox. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this piece now because of this. Um, I'm gonna hang on to it for a little while. Maybe I can come up with some sort of embellishment for it. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, if you've got any ideas, let me know. But yeah, can you believe it? I have never had that amount of air bubbles in my pillow paint. I must have whipped that sucker up before I poured it down. Anyway, the bloom itself turned out really well and I really like it. All right, let me know what your thoughts are and especially if you have any ideas on what to do with my background. All right, well, until next time, bye for now.